What is up guys and welcome back to Animation Station. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on how grouping things together can make animating a little bit easier. Uh, this is scene 20 of Lolo and I did a, a three separate groups uh, for this animation that I've split it up into. So for example, if we go up to the top where it says animation sketch and we just hit play, you can see all the sketches are in place here. So if we hit play, you can see what's happening. Lolo's just moving over uh, to unlock the door for the inspector. Very simple animation. The sketch is extremely important. Uh, we animated this on twos and it seems to flow quite smoothly. So first thing you need to do is you have to go to your group. So we're going to deal with just the head. You know what? We'll just do the head for this example so you get the idea of how we would do the other two. So if you look at the head as a whole, it's grouped to together there. Uh, you can see it disappear. It is broken down into the line work, which is what I'd normally do. And we have the fill, which is the color fill. And then we have the detail, and that's like the highlights and the shadowing and the shades. Um, that's how I break it down. Uh, one thing you can do, you can actually uh, just uh, press shift and you can highlight all these if you want. Uh, right click and you can just make it a color. So we can do the head can all be purple so that we know that that is one group. We have the arm broken down into the next group and the body into the next group. So I'm just going to show you a quick uh, review of what I would do to make this animation a little bit quicker. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the line work, the detail and the fill all have a layer open. So what happens in Krita is when you draw something on a layer, it doesn't actually open a, a, um, a keyframe. And you have to have that keyframe open in order to move a group as a whole. So when I say move a group as a whole, if we select the head and we want to move it here, you can only do that if the line, the detail and the fill, so everything inside that group has a layer open. If these layers are not open uh, or they're just, they don't exist yet, um, it won't allow you to move this head as a whole, just like I did. So very simple stuff. You would basically just go to the layer, the line work, and you would just hit duplicate layer or even new layer, and it will actually add a layer for whatever drawing you have existing. Okay, so and I'll, I'll, let me just give you an example of that. So for example, here's the arm. We're gonna go down to the arm here, and we'll just scroll this down just a little bit. And you'll see that, you see how there's no, there's no frame here for the line, there's no frame here for the detail, there's no frame for the body. We will have to add frames in in order for to animate the, the arm as a whole. So we would just go to the line and you can hit new or duplicate. I just always hit D for duplicate on my computer and it would add in a frame, same with the detail and same with the body. Okay, or sorry, the line and the detail and the fill. Where's the fill? Ah, there it is. It's not tagged. Okay, so that's what you need to do. You have to make sure these are at least on an animating keyframe. Okay, so now that we have three of these on an animated keyframe, what that means is every time I grab this head and I position the head to where I want it to be, it will automatically create the keyframes for the line detail and fill. So if we go here, say I wanted to start at six, say I wanted to start at frame six and I wanted to move the head just like this, it will automatically create frames for that. So you don't have to go in and add a new frame individually for everything in the group. But like I said, that only works if the frames are already existing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and give you an idea of what I will do. So I'm going to do this with the head, the arm and the body. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the, the head movement. Okay, so we would go to the first frame here and I would just use my arrow to find when the first movement hits. So there's the first movement of our sketch. Then I would click on the head, which is the group, which I've tagged here down on the left. And I would just move that head to match it up with my sketch as so. Okay, so the sketches are super important. Then what I would do is I'd use the uh, o, the right hand arrow and I toggle over on my keyboard until the head is showing in a different position. And I would move that head again try to get it exactly how it is. 
At this point, we're not worried about what the mouth is doing and what the eyes are doing because we're going to go back and animate those separately by making the changes. Okay, so at this point, we're just moving the head where it's supposed to be. So we're going like this. We're going to move it here. And it looks like his head's tilted down just a little bit more. We're continuing on. Now we can see a big change here in the head and the angle. So we're just going to re-angle that just so it matches our sketch. And we're going to do that because the sketch came out really nice and smooth. So we want to maintain that. There it goes. We have another movement here. And this is, like I said, animated on twos. So I'm going, I'm toggling over two keyframes every single time. And I know that the head is going to move after that two keyframe mark. And we're over again. And it's automatically pre-populating the frames as I move the entire group. And that's what you want. Okay. So we go here again. And we could even just angle that just a little bit. So he's looking down at the button. And that's it. Okay. So now when we hit play on that, <clears throat> it's going to render. And it should, you see, the head will move with the sketch. And that's how we're going to do the arm and we're gonna do the, the rest of the body as well. Now, we're going to move it in place, like so for example, if we go down to the arm right now, and we do the same thing, so let's highlight the arm and hold shift, and then we can add a, a different color for this group, so we'll go green. So if we go down to the arm right now, we've already added in the frames, so whatever we move will animate, right? So if we go to the arm, we know, let's get rid of the body uh, just for now. We know that the arm has to move here. So this is the first position, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing, second position, just like that. And here's the cool thing. We haven't done any changes to the arm yet, but we will. So right here, we're gonna be drawing on this frame, we're gonna be drawing the arm again so technically we could just erase the bottom half of this arm. But for now, I, I, just because it's, we're, I'm just showing you guys how I would do it. Um, I just want you guys to understand that I'm moving the arm in the position it's going to be. So that when I do actually do the drawing for the arm, it saves a lot of time. There we go. So we're going to move it in position. Just like that. And that's it. Okay, so we would go back in to the, the line work, the detail and the fill, and we would draw in a different arm here so that it matches every single time, but at least the arm is in the same place. So when you hit play on that, again, the arm is already moving and it's supposed to be where it is. This is gonna save us tons of time. And then we're gonna do the same thing uh, for the body. So you guys get the picture. So we hit play, the arm now moves with the sketch, the head now moves with the sketch, and the next thing is the body. Okay, and the body will, will be changing a lot down here for the legs, but that's how grouping makes animating so much easier. So since we're already going, we're just going to finish this out here. We're going to uh, highlight the body there. We're going to right click. We're going to make that a color as well. We can make that blue. And now we have the, our three groups there. And I'm just going to go back to the zero frame here. And we're going to go down to our body. Now remember, there's no frames populated for line detail and fill, right? So what we need to do is add some frames there. So for example, if I go to this uh, scene, this uh, frame right here, two frames out, and I click on body and I wanna move that body to where it's supposed to be. Sorry, let's click on the body and move it to where it's supposed to be. It's not gonna populate the, that frame. You see that? All it did was move the body, but it didn't populate new keyframes. And that's because we don't have keyframes started. Okay, so let's go back and let's add in those keyframes. So under the line, we're going to add a, add a duplicate layer. Under the detail, duplicate layer. Let's scroll down so you guys can see. And then under the fill, duplicate layer. You can also just press the, the new layer, which is right here. It will do or add a blank frame. It will do the uh, same thing. Sorry, not, not layers, frames. Okay, so now when we move the body to where it's supposed to be, 
it will stay and populate some frames for us. So it looks like um, our character is going upwards. So we want to match that body to go upwards, just like so. Okay, and make sure it makes sense as well. You don't want it to, don't want to lose the integrity of the drawing. Same thing here. It's just bending down just a little bit. And like I said, this is just kind of like a, a template. We're just mapping everything out in place. And then we're going to go back and redo uh, the drawings for the body, the arm, and the head. But at least they're already in position, ready to go, and ready to be edited. Okay, we'll do the last couple here, and then we'll wrap it up. Just like that. Okay. And then we hit play and everything should move just like the sketch. You see that? Now all we have to do is make the alteration. So we just go back in the frames that need to be altered and you do one at a time. Keep it very um, uh, neat and tidy and simple and just do one at a time. Now you can really see how easy that was. We saved a lot of time and uh, we made it very controlled and simple. We can hit play there and you can see Lolo, he's going down to push the button and it even looks nice and smooth even though it's animated on twos. Okay, so that's how grouping uh, layers together can make animating a little bit easier. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you love animation like I do. And also, I appreciate the support that you guys give me. All right, you guys take care. Until next time, cheers. Bye.